Welcome back to the fourth video of me trying to become the first ever person in entire league's history to get the metamorphic dust on the omelette. This episode is stupidly action-packed. I'll be revealing to you the most broken range setup with the relic combo in all of league's history, probably. And also, we'll be hitting up a ton of different bosses as I make my way towards the challenge for Rage Grind for the dust, Dagonoth Kings for the rings, Zuck for the Infernal Cape, Zora for all the good drops there, Vorkath for the BIS range backpack, and Bandos for the most broken melee setup for chambers, and also finally getting tier 7 relic unlocked. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Oh, 99 hit points, let's go. First 99 on the uh, Leaks account. And that's another 125 points, let's go. Oh shoot, another 99. <laughs> All the 99s are coming in. Easy peasy. Alright, that was like the shortest lift 99 HP on trim. Possible cape ever. Even more points. Uh, I guess all the combats will follow shortly with the 99s. Oh, I got it! Hey, let's go. 2x for that, but we got it. That should be a task, right? Yes. Sweet. Alright, let's talk about my setup here for some DKs. We are rocking some Twin Strikes and Absolute Unit right now. Because this also gives me the, the standard, you know, prayer restoration, so I don't have to worry about prayer. I also got Venom Master, so I don't get poison. I also got Arcane Conduit to save all my runes. I'm gonna take a little bit of a... Of a drain on this F bow here, but it's okay on the charges. Tactical duelist, sick. So that's the one that saves weapon charges for melee. So like Blade of Solder and Tentacle Whip get saved. Come on, Archer's Ring, boom, right there, boom. Oh, oh, oh my God! I actually called the Archer's Ring. Oh, hell yeah, let's go, man. And trust me, I did not say Archer's Ring every single kill. Okay, I'll just eat this. Oh, Berserker Ring, let's go! Yes! Oh my goodness, let's go. We don't really need the Seer for anything. So, Berserker Ring done, we got Archer's Ring. And yeah, this one task got us a lot of points, so... Sweet. Sweet, this is really good. For raids, of course, and bossing. This is also really good for bossing and all that. Yes! Ah, man, I love this Gauntlet Cache, man. It's coming in handy. Boom! And boom! Done. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, FK Slayer tonight is going to be phenomenal. FK so hard, I missed on ASM Slayer. Time to go and get a Kraken Tass. Uh, we got 87 Slayer now. Oh, uh, there we go. Cave Kraken. Oh, Kraken Tentacle, man. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uncharged Trend. Let's go. So the next major upgrade I want to get is the Inferno Cape because I have the best setup for it, the Bofa and the Crystal Armor, I have no excuse. And to that end, I'm going to get a few more upgrades like the Barrels Gloves and some other range upgrades real quick before I go. Nice, recipe for disaster done, only took like 4 quests to do. Alright, we got the Stage in 5, I think I wear all of this first task. Sweet. And this will be my best range boots for a bit. Let's see what stats I get from this. Ooh, nice. They give a plus four. Just want to get some range potions from these uh, spiritual rangers for the inferno. Yay, good thing the quest skip let me bypass it. That was really nice. It drops two dose range potion at a 11, 111 kill. Alright. Oh, wow, I got one. Sweet. Let's get one whole one. I should be able to sneak in Divine Restoration to living on a prayer relics. So that way, in the Inferno, I don't actually need to bring prayer pots. Because I'm just going to infinitely get prayer back and never run out. Pretty much ready for some good old Inferno. Except this is going to be uh, inventory setup wise way different. I'm only going to bring one prayer potion. Double tap of... Three fragments, 60% chance for double damage. Gonna be really good for Zuck and everything. Uh, two fragment, absolute unit, just to help me survive from any bullshit. 
that that might happen to me in terms of getting stacked out or something so this will be really nice i also get some free dps if i make mistakes uh, i brought some chins for nibblers ancients for healing and nibblers and of course the good old f bow for everything pretty much everything literally yeah this is actually really nice way easier than trailblazer league inferno oh my god the one shot with the double tap Mamma mia, so good. This is where Absolute Unit comes in. If I make some stupid mistake like this with flicking, it's 30% less damage. Alright, time to do the foo. That was the scary wave so far. Here's another way to off tick the range in the Major if they don't stack in a perfect line. So you first go out so the Ranger hits you and then you go to the opposite side of the pillar and then the Major will hit you one tick after and they're off ticked. Oh, damn, bro. What? This is going to probably hit both of them, actually. The pillars. When it collapses. Hmm. That's dope. Oh, what? Damn. That <laughs> oh, my God. It did 110 to that guy. Oh, my God. That was so cool. I've never seen that. All right. We're here. Look at my supplies. Okay, looking decent. Something like that. There you go. Oh, that was nice. Yes, that was beautiful. Wait, what? How? Oh, I didn't. It didn't die. What the hell? Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Oh, oh my God! The freaking minions almost fucked me over. Oh, that's definitely gonna proc it. Nice, nice, nice. That's what we're talking about. Overall, this league, Zuck was harder. Even with uh, my Bofa setup, because the Relics wasn't as strong in terms of single target DPS. So I actually ended up getting two sets of minions, whereas in Trailblazer, I only got one set, and not even close to two, with a Crystal Bow. <laughs> but the waves were definitely easier, though, than last league, as a Ranger. Come on, 24 HP. Yeah. No, 2 HP. Oh my god. 2 HP. Please. Yes, thank you very much. Ah, that was a little sketchy. I ain't gonna lie. Yay, we did it. Ah, one and done. Feels good, man. Oh, budget setup. Apparently, this is a budget setup. Yay. And I put on the cape, right? Does that give me points? Ah. Nice. Oh, Bandosian might. Holy shit. I got the uh, tier four, uh, tier four relic. A next on the list is to get the Alva's Assembler from Forecath, and also finally get this tier seven relic finally done because we need that extra slot to make PVM extra spicy and nice. Oh, hey, ninety nine uh, strength. I didn't realize I was gonna get that there. Heck yeah, ninety nine strength, baby. And we have it. Oh, that's a task. Let's go. This is going to be our setup for Vorkath. Never done FBO Vorkath before, so this should be interesting. Don't forget to get your XP lamps from the museum, even if you skip the quest. Yes, please. Give me uh, 270,000 construction experience, 61 construction. All right, I should be able to move my house everywhere I want. Okay, we'll just now uh, locate ourselves to Relica. Sweet. Now we are Vorkath ready. I have max absolute unit, so it'll take less damage. Also got double tap maxed. Venom Master, so I don't get poison, and also divine restoration, so I don't have to use prayer pots. That's nice. Ooh, hoo -hoo, damn, I'm getting so many points. I decided I was gonna dedicate my time today to tier seven grind and go back to forecast after. So doing thieving tasks is gonna be really good because I can get myself enough crystal teleport seeds for a task and also plenty of extra ones to turn into shards crystal shards because i'm gonna go ahead and corrupt this farnum bow because yeah i'm gonna waste charges if i don't charge it and i'm gonna use it so much anyways that it'll be worth it oh i got it yay sweet dude it's so fast actually 
I haven't even been here for like an hour's worth of XP. Alright, that's uh, definitely enough enhanced seats now. Yep. That should give me 2200. Sweet. Okay, let's go charge up this bow. Alright, let's permanently charge this. It's unfortunate that there's no task for permanently charging this. There you go. Ooh, that still leaves me with 241. Ooh, what color is this? Oh, yeah, I'm down. I'm down with the white. That's cool. Oh, oh, oops. Oops. <laughs> I said he killed this guy by accident. Why? What was he doing? Oh, I got it. Blood shard. Oh, there it is. 99th evening. Yay. Yo, this set effect though is disgusting for a lot of these skilling slash gathering tasks. Unchain town boosts your stats so you can gather things faster. You also have greedy gatherers so you can collect three times the resources, which counts towards those number tasks. And personal bankers so you can send all of them straight to your bank so you don't ever have to bank. Oh, uh, hell yeah. This thing's really good, actually. Turn a turbo crystal sends me straight to a waystone and I don't need to be on any spell book. Ooh, skip that. Yes! Oh my god, I still know it. I still got the moves. Alright, doesn't this let me finish this task though? Okay, cool. Alright, that's all I can do for Sepulchre, but hey, 153 points though. Oh my god, dude. So Slayer has so many points, actually, especially at 90. You just go kill a bunch of random Slayer mobs in different areas. <laughs> so I wonder how many points I'll get from doing all that. I'm not gonna miss a single one of these tasks. Look, it's 50 points for that. Alright, I'll, I'll be back after I finish all these. Oh wow, 260k. Sweet, that's 125 points. Craft an amulet, that's another 125. And then add the blood fury, blood shard to this. That would give me another 125. 60 points left, okay. Alright, we're just gonna buy some bizarre weapons, I guess. Their last 10 points. Okay, hopefully I bought the right item. Yes! Tier 7. Sweet. We're free. Uh, we're free, dude. Screw getting more points, man. I'm done. Now we have maximum relic power coming in, so that's that's really nice. I can't wait to see all the different combos that we can uh, do with all the relics, but yeah, no more task grinding for like a long ass time. It's all about PVM now. The XP multiplier is still pretty nice because I still have to train some stuff like herbal or probably make some good pots for long term bossing. I can't do the acid run here with the F bow because its attack range is too long to drag. So I'm using a U short bow and it works decent. Extra damage. There it is. 50 kills for the four cats head. Ah, there we go. Nice. So the next thing I want to do is grind Zora out because it should be really quick to get the uniques. I mainly want the blowpipe and the magic fang. So problem's decent too. But yeah, the blowpipe's just nice for theater blood. I probably want to do some theater blood for some of those weapons for challenge raids too. And the magic fang, of course, is for the trident to upgrade it. So for Zora, I'm using the same relic setup as Warcath and it works really well. The F-Bow just slaps. Except for the melee phase, but that's a minor issue. This kind of this kind of broken, guys. Yeah, definitely don't need magic either. Holy crap! How many more range hits are we gonna get? Jesus! Oh, Tanzanite Fang, let's go! Hell yeah! Oh, there it is, ninety nine range. Oh, fifty five seconds. Let's go. Oh wow! I got the fistage first. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess we got we have a sword problem that we can use too. Yes, <laughs> absolute unit. <laughs> oh, I got it. Let's go, magic fang. Yes, one seventy one KC. Hell yeah! Before two hundred. Yay! I can happily move on with two uh, bandos. Here is our current new damage potential. I'll show you right now with all our new upgrades. 74 oh 42 78 gosh so last recall is a thing here in this leak but you need four relic combinations to make it and unfortunately my range relics don't have any of the good passives to form last recall and also keep the damage passives like double tap 
max or like absolute unit max. So I'm just doing melee for a bit unless I get something really good, like one of the new range relics I don't have. Absolute unit KO, Poggers. Ooh, got some shard one and a combat relic. What's this? Oh, I got Armadale Decree. Ooh, sweet. Sweet, sweet. I was just saying how I don't have that, but now I actually have that. Armadale Decree gives me absolute unit and double tap. Oh! Boys, boys. I think I might be able to fit in last recall double tap and absolute unit with, with this one. So there's actually one more relic that I can get from runecrafting called run escape that if I combine them all together, I will actually have the most disgusting range setup for God Wars of all time. I'll show you after. I got it. Yo, this has to be it. This has to be it, boys. Run escape. Let's go. I went from 40 runecrafting to 70 runecrafting here to get this, but well worth it and it was really fast. So this already gives me absolute unit 2. And already gives me last recall. So that's amazing. That's two that's two extra absolute units. So I can fit everything in. Alright, now we can do double tap. On the Holy Ranger, on Medillion Decree. And uh, now we already have maximum double tap, last recall, and maximum absolute unit, dude. That's so good. Look at that. We're literally going to go in here with zero prayer for the unholy rangers double accuracy effects and then i'm just gonna recoil all the extra damage back so this method is really simple once you have the rugs going you just tank the damage eat up food keep your hp above i don't know 40 or something and the boss will die really fast yep and that's pretty much it oh battle stress play oh my god <laughs> Yay, 16 kills and we already got it. Sweet. Oh my god, back to back. What? I actually just got back to back, dude. Love dude. <laughs> That's actually jokes. I mean, I was going to do raids today, but I just ran out of time. So my preferred way of doing this method is to let the boss hit me until I get around like 30, 40 HP. And then I start running away and just cutting the boss. That way, I don't have to worry about eating too much and being on cooldown and just keeping the boss. And I save more food that way, so I can do more kills before I have to bank. Oh my god, dude. I am just so accurate, man. It's actually insane. <gasps> oh my god, Bandos Hill 2, dude. This is crazy, bro. This is insane. <laughs> what is this RNG, bro? Honestly, what even is this RNG? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Bandos boots! Oh my god, 10 HP Bandos boots. Holy shit. Oh my god, we actually finished Bandos, actually. Wow, 77 kills and we're done. Wow, that was crazy. Bandos is extra disgusting, this league, because of Bandos might. Which, if I wear 4 pieces at max level, I gain 4 extra max hits per attack speed on a weapon. So a whip gives 16 extra damage. So look at the rates of our new found setup here with the Bandos Might at level 2. A mil XP an hour. An Inslayer. Inslayer, guys. Um, 4.6 mil <laughs> defense XP an hour. Oh my goodness. This is uh, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So my fourth set, I'm using Bandos Top, Bottom, Boots, and the God Book. But ideally, I want like a Blessing or a Helmet or something from Clue Scrolls to use at chambers instead because I want to keep my defender. Next video is going to feature a ton of raids as I go for the prayer scrolls in normal chambers. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the journey to becoming the first person to have metamorphic dust for the omelet in all of League's history. And make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.